to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Danica and I am the Fit Mom Lifestyle. And today we are doing an impromptu Trader Joe's haul. So I'm gonna treat this more like a vlog because let's be honest, um, I mean, look at me. I My hair is not done, my makeup is not done. I just dropped my son off at school. It's gloomy and honestly, we needed some stuff for dinner. So I was like on the way home, I'm gonna stop at Trader Joe's and I got some really good stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film a video and I don't know if anybody cares to see this, but I think it's fun. Fall is my favorite season, hands down. And I hate grocery shopping. Like I love Instacart because I don't have to go anywhere. Um, but the one place I like to go is Trader Joe's because I like to peruse the aisles, grab the things, look at what's new. And it was great today because there was nobody there. It's a Tuesday morning. Like I said, I dropped my son off at preschool and went to Trader Joe's. So I grabbed a few things, actually three bags worth. And um, so I'll be sharing those with you now. And it's just cozy. Like it's cold outside. It's overcast. I've got my um, Young Living essential oils going. I've got thieves in there and orange if you're familiar with Young Living. And this is our first fall in our own home. So I have to say like being here, I mean, it's a mess, don't get me wrong, but it's cozy, it's fun. Like I'm having so much fun decorating and like buying, you know, I don't know, it's just fun. It's just fun to have the holidays upon us and, you know, start celebrating. So if you enjoy this video or you enjoy this type of content, please give the video a thumbs up just so that I know it really helps me to see what you're interested in. And let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with some of the larger items. The first one I have is the cinnamon broomstick and I just love these. Growing up, my mom used to put these around our house all the time and for like $4, they're decorative, but they smell great and they really smell up a room. So I don't know, I just like these, they're very fun. So that's the first thing. Second thing is we got this pumpkin. So we have a small pumpkin outside um, by our front door and I keep thinking we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch soon, but it's almost October 1st and we haven't gone yet. So I figured, you know what? We need a second pumpkin out there and whenever we go to the pumpkin patch, it's fine. We'll get some more, it's no big deal. Um, I love fall, so I don't mind. And then I got this little plant. Um, I don't know, it's my, my son is in preschool and it's his director's birthday today. So I am uh, haven't decided if I'm gonna give this to her or keep it. Um, I was thinking of giving her like a candle and some other things. So anyway, I just really love how these colors are. Like it's just so pretty. And we don't have any live plants in our house right now other than my husband's garden over there, which is looking really sad. I didn't even notice that. So disregard that. Like I said, this is real life. But anyway, um, I don't have any like flowers or anything right now. So I might keep this and put it out. Everything that I have is like decor is very like brown and um, like burnt orange. So I kind of like this pop. Okay, so let's get started with the first bag. Um, I grabbed just some basic stuff to keep in our pantry. So like some pastas and like I said, it's overcast and cool and it just makes me want to like stay home and cozy. So I just grabbed some like comfort food. So we've got this pasta. Uh oh, is it opened? Maybe not. Okay, so we got the pasta. I grabbed some Brussels sprouts. A lot of this is like basic stuff. Some of it is fall themed. I got some bananas, which we love. Okay, now we're getting into some of the fall stuff. So I got this pumpkin liqueur. Um, it says to add to your coffee. And so it's kind of like, you know, like a substitute for Bailey's. So anyway, if you like drinking and you're of age, I don't know. Um, but I like pumpkin and I just think that could be kind of a fun, like something I'd love to share with my mom. I think my mom would really like that and it's 12.5%. So anyway, okay. I grabbed two of these candles. I've heard these are really good and they were like $4. So vanilla pumpkin scented candle. It really does smell good and it doesn't smell like the fake candles you know what I mean like it's it says it's made with natural soy and a lead free cotton wick and then this is the honey crisp apple 
Ooh, that one really smells like apples, like very strong. Um, these are really cute though. And like, like I said, very affordable. So got those. Um, I just got some stir fry sauce because I want to make, uh, like some stir fried tofu, which I got. And then, um, I got the pumpkin spiced coffee. I love this stuff. I usually stock up on it. My husband will not drink it. He does not like coffee or coffee. He does not like pumpkin like I do. I also got the pumpkin pie perfect bar to try. I used to love these perfect bars, but I haven't gotten them in a while because they have to be refrigerated. So they're a little bit more high maintenance than like my RX bars. So anyway, we'll try this one. Then I got the cinnamon bun spread, which to be honest, I just thought this was kind of fun and good to have around like if we do brunch or something like that. I got some pumpkin pie spice. I like to put this like in my oatmeal or cream of wheat or coffee, just again, something good to have. And then I just grabbed the hatch salsa. We use this all the time for like enchiladas or like in um, uh, the crock pot. I was like, what is that thing called again? So anyway, that is the first bag. All right, so moving on to bag number two. I grabbed these fall leaf corn tortilla chips and they have like cute little leaf shapes. Um, but like I said, I have a two year old and he loves chips and we're practicing his colors. So I actually just thought it would be fun to like quiz him and say like, what color is this chip? What color is this chip? So anyway, mom things, you know, and then I got these pumpkin pie cranberry crisps. Honestly, sometimes we just have people over and I just thought this was like a good thing to put out. I love cranberries. I'm not a big raisin person. I did see that they had like a raisin version, but I like these. Then I got these um, mini maple walnut biscotti. And actually when um, I was in the checkout line, the um, cashier told me that these are new this year and have been very, very popular. So again, something that would be good to put out when we have guests over. And then I got some more like basic stuff. So more pasta. Again, like I said, I like to stock our pantry with this kind of stuff because it's just good to have on hand and we're low on that. Um, Alfredo pasta sauce and tomato basil pasta sauce. So as you can tell, I'm craving carbs and we will be having some pasta this week. Um, I grabbed a pumpkin um, container to potentially, <sighs> potentially make pumpkin pie. I don't cook. I don't. But like the idea of it sounds fun sometimes, you know, like have a glass of wine or mimosa and play the music and just have a good time. Like sometimes it's like fun, but to do it every day, <laughs> that's not my thing, but like to do it for like a fun event. I don't know. Anyway, you guys are probably like, she's crazy. Okay. Last thing in this bag is these pumpkin spice cookies. I actually went to Trader Joe's a few weeks ago when they first started putting things out and they had these cookies and I got them and they're so good. They taste like animal cookies, but pumpkin flavored and like gingery kind of. So anyway, these are really, really good. All right, we made it to the last bag. So I got these cornbread crisps. Honestly, my husband loves these. I never really eaten them, but he loves them. So I got those for him. And then I saw, um, who was it? Somebody was talking about this maple sea salt kettle corn. It might be too sweet. But again, Trader Joe's pricing and the packaging and it got me. So it's just kind of fun. I figured we'd try it and what's the harm in trying it, you know? Uh, so I got that. Oh, and then I grabbed, like I mentioned this earlier, um, I grabbed some of the mini cinnamon whisks. I actually got one for upstairs. I have, um, we have like a little loft area. Sorry, my hair's like annoying me. We have a little loft area upstairs and we have like a desk and on top of the desk I have just like some decor. So I thought it would be cute to put one of these there and then I grabbed two more because I figured I could put one in my office at work just for like fun festive 
decor. And then I got one in case my husband wants one for his office. I don't know if he will, but I figured if he didn't want it, I could put it somewhere else in the house. So no big deal. And then just some more stuff for this week. I got some asparagus. Um, oh, I got some bread. So total side note, we went up to Lodi. Actually, um, I filmed a vlog. So if I haven't published it yet, or if I have, whatever, I will link it in the cards and down below if it's up. If not, I'll add it after it has been published. We went to Lodi, that was really fun. I didn't record as much as I thought I would, but um, we got some really good olive oil. And again, we went to a winery and olive oil place and I bought olive oil and not wine, which is so unlike me, but the olive oil was so good and the balsamic. So um, yeah, we have some really good olive oil. So I got some bread for like an appetizer for dinner. Again, I'm like craving carbs. Um, I just got a bunch of these like little easy uh, pastas because these are great to put in the freezer. And lately we've been just like struggling with coming up with dinner ideas. So just like one of these and like if you have chicken or even if you don't, um, and then some salad, like such an easy dinner and quick dinner. Like my husband can just throw the chicken on the grill. I'll toss the salad. We'll have this pasta. Like it's just so easy. So got that one, got this arugula and Parmesan one. And then we love this spinach tortellini one. They used to have a, um, gosh, what was it called? Like a basil pesto that I don't think Trader Joe's carries anymore, but it was so good with this. Um, I think they have a cashew one now, which I probably should just get and try. Okay, last thing is this tofu. So we don't eat a lot of tofu. Um, we like it when we go to like um, sushi. We'll get like fried tofu, but I wanted to try and make some tofu. I have like a stir fry and um, we actually used all the chicken in last night's dinner and that was supposed to be allocated for like a chicken teriyaki. And I just decided to try the tofu as like an alternative, just, I don't know why not. Um, there's one more thing. I forgot, I got a ball of mozzarella to have with our bread and olive oil. Because like I said, <laughs> I'm craving carbs, I guess. So anyway, that is my Trader Joe's haul. Some really fun, festive stuff, but also just some good basics. So. Anyway, that's what I got. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like I mentioned before, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It gives me an idea of what you enjoy watching and I don't wanna produce content that you don't wanna see. Um, but this was super impromptu. Like I said, I got home, I had to unpack the bags and I was like, you know what, let me just film it because maybe they'll wanna see it. Maybe this will be fun. I like watching these kinds of videos. So let me know what you think and that's it for today. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.